Good morning, Vale. We're in Italy. It is 7.30 at night. It's very dark and cold out here and we haven't eaten, so we're gonna go get some food at the top of this mountain. And here comes our transportation right now. We're gonna go up to the top by those snowmobiles and then we're gonna ski down in the middle of the night. That's how they do it around here. Check out the grappa, the selection. All of this. All of this. I'm trying to send now raspberry. Yeah, exactly. Good as you like. I have a couple of questions from the chef. From the The idea is to we'll do it nice and light so you get a nice thin. After a fabulous meal at Capana Tondi, this refugio, we're gonna ski a couple thousand feet back down into Cortina. You can uh, see that uh, all of our skiers down there, they're like little fireflies disappearing into the night. There they go. What a way to end the meal. See you tomorrow. So today we are headed up to Lagasori. Uh, about a 20 minute drive out of Cortina. We take a tram up to, uh, I don't know, 3,000 meters. And from there we will be skiing eight miles down into a valley behind Cortina where we will catch some horses and the adventure will continue from there. Right? Yeah. There it is. Going up there. Here we are, the top of Lagasori. This is the Lagasori Refugio. It's beautiful up here. Crystal clear morning. A bit cold, but it's an unbelievable place. This is the Refugio. The valley down there is Cortina. And we just came up from down there. So, we're skiing down that valley. It's about a little over seven kilometers. So we'll go for a while, you cannot get lost. There's no other run but this one. This is called Armentarola. And uh, maybe I said it before, but it's one of the highlights to me of the entire week. Uh, just soak in the scenery, look around and uh, enjoy. Legendary huts of the Dolomites, Refugio Scotoni. 
most of the big climbs in the Dolomites start around here and uh, Mountaineer uh, Alpinist spend the night here before climbing all these walls. Wow. Molto bello splendido. Molto bello splendido. Amazing, amazing. This is one form of transportation. Look at this. These two horses are pulling all these people. covered some distance right here. We went from up a tram, Logosori, came down that long run through this cannon, and then uh, pushed here and then caught horses. And now we're over here at Altabata. And we're gonna take this little surface lift and now we've reached a whole new area. This is kind of part of the Cello Ronda. Look at this. 500 lifts actually connect. come by here almost every year. It's a beautiful place, but this is where Shane McConkie made his second to last jump with JT Holmes. There's a Kuar over there. You can see it. They came in through the top and then they went down and over onto that field, snow field, and they were able to make a ski base from there. Epic day. Absolutely. And we are uh, rushing back because we have to get to all the lifts in time to make it back to where we started. Yeah. Which yeah. is uh, many miles from where the cars are. Yeah. The problem is here in uh, Italy, you end up in a valley drinking wine and drop off. Uh, Enjoy the, the life, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And all of a sudden it's uh, 3.30 in the afternoon and you're 20 miles away from where you began. So then you do the rush back home. So we are on our last lift. Yeah. No, we have another one really. <laughs> now we go down and we take another one and down to take the bus. And from the, the bus stop we have 10 minutes driving and we are again at the at the, the base where we park the <laughs> There you have it. It's about the equivalent of going from uh, Keystone over to Vale and uh, getting stuck at a bar yeah, exactly. and then trying to get back. Yeah. So, <laughs> right, really the right word, try. So there you have it. Another day in Italy. We'll see you later, TV8. Thank you. Oh, no.